guys, today I want to review Divine Destruction by Lester Sucks. I received this book through the author in exchange for an honest review, but because I was really, really busy at the time when I received it, I also got the audiobook later on, and that is how I mostly read the book. I think this is going to be the first book in a series, but I don't know when we get the second book or how many books there are going to be. As always, I want to keep the plot very, very short because I personally like to go into books not knowing too much about it and I always want to kind of give you the freedom to decide yourself. So I'm just gonna say a few things about it. It's basically the story of the Archangel Gabriel coming to Earth as a messenger of God. And it's kind of like a beginning of a Jesus story in our time. And it is kind of the last step to save humanity and to kind of right all the wrongs that we have done. The story focuses on two people in particular, but it also deals with humanity as a whole reacting to this and also how the government reacts. I kind of had a hard time rating this book because while I did not hate it, I did think that it was boring at some points and I didn't find myself like overly enjoying it. Overall, I still thought the story was very interesting, the concept was interesting and the ending was such a cliffhanger that I can definitely see myself continuing the series. I'm just gonna get into a few points and tell you what I didn't really like and then some things that I liked about it. First of all, I thought that especially in the beginning there were just too many points of views. I had such a hard time getting into it because I was so confused and we kind of started in heaven and with God and other angels and I thought that was super intriguing and then later on I was just confused because there were like four points of views there was like Gabriel and our two main characters and then someone from the government and I just couldn't really all get it together at the end of the story I thought that all of the POVs were necessary and I also thought they were really interesting and I really liked how we got to see the story from so many different points of views but in the beginning I wish we maybe had introduced some of the characters a bit later maybe, I don't know, I just thought for the beginning of the story it was a bit too much. This in general led to me not understanding many things that happened in the beginning. I was just confused overall and there were some things happening that I keep thinking about and I can't really find a meaning behind it. So I still don't understand some of the things that happened at the beginning of the story. I just kind of wish that some of the things that happened in the beginning were a bit clearer at the end but maybe it was just me and I missed something that is very possible in my case. As I said there are basically two main characters if you exclude Gabriel and the kind of government point of view and since they have like a special connection that is basically through Gabriel they basically like really really quickly and it's kind of weird but I it's kind of an insta-love. I have a problem with calling it that way because I understand where the relationship came from and it made sense but because it happened so fast and through this connection that we obviously couldn't really feel, I still didn't really understand this relationship. It wasn't enjoyable for me to read about this relationship and about the love they had for each other because I couldn't really understand their feelings. I wasn't really able to understand what made them fall in love and where like the chemistry and everything came from. It's really hard to explain this point because as I said, I feel like it made sense and I wasn't like, this is really weird. I don't like this and this is horrible insta love it was just like it didn't really make me feel anything because I didn't have any kind of development with this love story and I thought that was really really sad I think we could have gotten a lot more out of it if we just got a bit more time for these two characters to get to know each other and not them instantly falling in love because of the connection that they have another thing that was kind of weird for me was just some of the things that Gabriel did and I think this is a very specific thing that I just want to mention because I really realized that it bothered me quite a lot but it could be when you read it that you're not bothered by it at all. Basically to kind of bring across this message and do the task that God has given him 
Gabriel is pretty ruthless in many parts of the story. I just didn't really like that. And that might be my personal opinion of what God and angels are like. It just was a behavior that I couldn't really imagine an angel that was sent by God doing. It just confused me. And I'm not that religious, but I just noticed that it bothered me and I couldn't really accept some of the things. And that just made it unrealistic for me, which is weird because it's not like a story that is really realistic. And it's hard for me to explain, but it was just kind of hard for me sometimes to just imagine these things happening from an angel that was sent by God. I have a really, really weird comparison and I don't actually want to really say that, but maybe to explain it, some people were really upset with Twilight at the beginning because their imagination of vampires were like these really evil creatures that drink blood and everything. And they were upset because they were like nice and living in a happy family and they drank like animal blood. And even though vampires are not a real thing, they still had this like very clear picture in mind of what vampires are. And I think that is what happened for me in this book. I have just this very clear picture of angels, especially angels that are sent by God. These are not angel fall apocalypse angels. This is like an angel that was sent by God for this message. And I just didn't really think that worked for me with the things he did. So as I said, there were many things that I criticized about this book, but in the end, I still left it with a positive feeling. It's really hard for me to explain. I just really think that there were some things in it that were boring and especially the confusing beginning were what kind of led me to not liking it all that much. This is not a book where I would like 100% recommend it but it's also not like I would not not recommend it. I really think it was fine and I don't feel like I've wasted my time or anything like that. As I said I didn't hate it. I just thought it was boring in parts and just maybe not really my kind of story. Still it was an interesting interesting and unique read and I have never really read anything like that or heard about anything like that and the concept was definitely intriguing. So this was my review of Divine Destruction by Lester Sachs. If you've read the book definitely let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Let's talk about it, let's discuss things and yeah, thank you so so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye!